Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and this is the second part of my tutorial for snowman earrings. You could see part one how I'm making the hat here at this eye icon and down there in description and by the way if you think this will be too difficult for you to do if you're not familiar with this circular stitch you could go to another tutorial where I'm showing this stitch only plain without different colors and when you get how I'm doing it you could come back here and do the two parts of the snowman okay uh, that was all I wanted to tell you now it's time to start with the list of the materials okay guys and for the second part of my snowman the body of the snowman I will show you all the materials that you need for the whole project Okay, here I'm using three colors of 11 ohm seed beads, white, red and black. And here I'm using the earring findings that I attached to the head, in fact, and I showed in my previous video. But still, you will need them for the whole project, that's why I'm showing them. And here for the nose, I need two red beads that I'm not using for the body. But for the body, I use two white HO beads. And uh, by the way, in description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. We also need monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading, needle, scissors and the pliers are not ob obligatory only if you need to go through the difficult beads. Without further ado, let's get started. And for the body of the snowman guys, I'm also going to use this pattern. Again, I will be making an inner circle of 8 beads like in the previous tutorial, but this time here two of the beads will be black so what i'm going to do i'm taking one black bead then i'm taking three white beads okay then again a black and then again three whites okay so now i have again eight beads but two of them black and six of them white Okay, sliding those down, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now what I want to do is go through this black bead here. Okay, now I will take one of my white ato beads and I'm going here through this black one like this, okay. And when I pull, I have this. Now in my next step, I will be adding only white beads. So I go through this next white and I'm adding one white and go back through the same bead. You see I have a loop between this white bead in the inner circle and this newly added bead and when I pull I have this. One of them is sticking out. Then I go through the following one and I'm taking one white going back through this one and also through the following white just to save time. Then again one white and then like this through this one and through the following. Okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Ok, 
okay now I have this and now I'm going backwards through this bead I'm exiting through the black one in this direction and I'm going in this direction through the white one and now I'm going to fill the gaps with white beads Okay, and in this row I have 16 beads that are double the beads that I had in my previous row. And now what I want to do is reinforce this whole row. Okay, and when I reach this white bead which is next to the black, what I want to add next is one black bead. Okay, and I'm adding it here. And now guys, I'm going to double half of the beads that I have here uh, in this row. Okay, so here I added one bead. So I'm going to double the next one. And I'm adding two white beads in the next row. And then I go through two in this direction, okay? Now it comes one again because I'm doubling half of the beads, okay? I add one. And then I add two. Then again I'm going to add one. And then I'm going to add two. Then again, I'm going to add one. Again, I'm adding two. And I'm adding one. Okay, and I'm going to continue uh, the same pattern up to this point. Since I added one here, I need two. Then again, one. And I will continue the same way up to here. And after I added the last two beads from this row, I want to go backwards and reinforce my work. Because you see how our beads, the beads are moving around and I want to reinforce them and make them stay in a nicer and better shape. Okay. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I just reinforced this row and now I want to make a whole row only out of white beads. And how I do this, I take two beads, I go back like this through this one and exit out of the next one. But now I'm doubling one third of the beads. And here I have two. In my next step I have one. And in my next step I have one again. I'll show you one more time, two, then again one, and again one. 
okay and I will continue this until the end and I'll be back when I'm up to here in this row you should have 32 bits let me remind you the first row is with 8 bits the second row is with 16 bits and you double all the bits uh, the next row is with 24 bits and you double half of the bits and in this row you will have 32 bits and you will double one third of the bits okay continue and meet me Okay guys, and I'm just adding my last bit from this row. Now here I have 32 bits and you know you work correctly. If you hear you finish with two single bits and then the one that comes is the first one that you did with double bit. Okay, now what I want to do is reinforce this row. Okay, I'll do this like I showed you so many times before and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm going to double one fourth of the beads that I'm adding in this row. So I'm going to add three single and one double. Three single and one double and in this row I will have 40 beads. Okay, where I am now, I am eight white beads away from this black bead here you see this black bead and the white that is in one line uh, next to it and i'm counting one two three four five six seven eight and i'm exiting out of the eight bead and now i'm going to take one red and i'm going back like this So I set three single and one double and then I'm going to add red again which is according to my pattern. You see I start this row from here and I have two reds one black and then again two reds and I'm adding this one by one. So these are the three single beads and now I need a double. And again I will add three single beads. The first one according to my pattern is a black one. This is the first single after the double then two more singles because i want to have three single beads added before the double one now what i need is to add double and here i need to take a red and a black i'm taking them in this order because i'm going backwards and when I go backwards, the black will be the first one, although I took it second. Okay. Now I'm taking double and now again three single beads. One red. One black. Then a red. So these are red, black and red which are single and here I need one more red to finish the pattern of my scarf but the next one will be white. So first I'm taking white and then red and when I go backwards the red comes before the white. Okay. Now here if you work correctly you will have 14 beads of the scarf i mean red and black beads and from here on you should have 26 more white beads and i'm adding them in the same manner here i have a red and a white that are double and i will continue all of this with white beads so in my next step i'm taking a white which is single then one more white, 
which is single and then a third white which is single and then again I'm adding two beads at one of the beads in my previous row connected with a loop with one of the beads in my previous row then it comes three single whites one double and if you work correctly when you knit those beads here you will have 26 white beads and 14 colorful beads and you will have 40 beads in this row okay i will continue and meet you here and here i am guys at my last step and you know you work correctly if you hear at the last step it's time to add two beads instead of one because if you remember i started this part with the scarf with three singles and one double so here i'm finishing again with three singles and one double i'm meeting them and i have 40 beads in total okay now what i need to do is reinforce of camera this row like i did with all the previous rows before okay i'll do this and i'll meet you here okay guys and now i'm gonna be making this last row here and it will consist of 48 beads because i'm going to double one fifth of the beads one fifth of 40 is eight so i have eight additional beads in this row compared to the previous one and it will be the last one that consists of 48 beads okay so how i started i will take four single beads and the fifth one will be double so i'm taking a single bead i'm going back like this then another single bead okay and then before i continue what i want to do is make a little addition that goes out of my work and this addition will be of two black beads added like this through the red ones they will go a little bit outwards of my work then i go again through this black one and then i need two reds and i go like this making a herringbone stitch if you're not familiar with it, it this is it it's really easy then again two reds then again two blacks and at my last step i will add three red beads i'm going back like this and i want to reinforce them to stay nice and tight this uh, sticking out part of my scarf is ready and i want to go back guys to my original work now it's time to use your pliers if it's too tight to go back okay so where was i I added two red beads here and I said that I will double every fifth bead. So if I added two single beads here, I will add two more singles, a black, then after that a red. And since I added three singles, it's time to add here a double. And I will add it here with red beads. Okay. 
Now again I will repeat this whole thing. I'm taking four singles. The first one is black. Then two reds and one black. Okay, now it's time for the double. Okay, then here they they come the, the singles. One red, one black. And after that two red beads. Then it comes a double white bead and three single white beads. Then again a double white bead and three single white beads. And I'll meet you here at this end. And uh, this will be almost the last step of my snowman. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. And by the way, here as the last one, it's time to add two, but I will add only one because here this scarfing push is pushing me down. And if I put two, it will look strange. I think you could fit two as well, but now I will add one. Okay. Now. What I want to do is go around through all of those beads, reinforcing how I do this the familiar way. Exit here at the top of the scarf and go like this through all of the beads to straighten up your work. Okay, do this. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I just reinforced this last row and I'm exiting one bead before this central black bead. And now I need to take the head of my snowman and I want to connect these three central beads here beneath the mouth with these three red, black and red. And how I do this as I'm exiting here through this red one bead before uh, the black one, you see where my thread is, it's exiting here. I'm taking my snowman's head and I go through this white bead. Okay, now I have this. This one is connected with this one. Okay. Then I turn it in this direction and I go back through this red and through the following black. When I pull, those two beads are connected. Now I want to connect the next two beads. And as I'm exiting from the black one, I'm going backwards through the white like this. And then I'm going backwards through the black and through the following red. Okay. Then I want to connect this white with the red one next to it. And if you want you could do some additional reinforcement of this joint here if you want and when i'm ready with the reinforcement i will go through some beads in this direction and i will make a knot And I make my knot by make a loop here 
and I'm going twice through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull and then you could repeat this knot several times just to be sure it's all tight and secure and then cut your thread. Okay guys and now my snowman earring is ready. Okay guys and now my snowman earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I post new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me.